Why, hello, Jacob. And today, I have a new pickup to share with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and I dive right into it. So yeah, this particular bad boy comes to us from eBay. And cost me about 40 bucks. And is a jersey of a current player in a current style in the NFL. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This bad boy is an NFL jersey hailing to us from the AFC North. And this particular player has been battling injuries basically all season. And unfortunately, his season was cut short, which is a shame because this team had high aspirations this year. But to be fair, like when this particular quarterback, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, this particular quarterback is on the field. I mean, this team is borderline unstoppable. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. I got me a Joe Burrow Cincinnati Bengals Nike game jersey. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. So yeah, this particular bad boy is of the new Fuse system. Granted, I don't know if that really impacts the Nike game jerseys that much. I mean, I know the Fuse Limited really changed that, and the Fuse Elite changed a few things on there, but uh, I figured since, you know, I already had a Fuse Elite and a Fuse Limited... And the fact that this was 40 bucks and is literally of the most current possible style, why not? So yeah, as you can see here in the neckline, it has the Paul Brown signature. For those of you who may or may not know, Paul Brown basically founded and owned the Bengals in the early days and stuff like that, sort of got them up and going. It's a very interesting read, by the way, if you look it up on e or like YouTube and stuff like that. Just look up Paul Brown. And this particular bad boy is a size 2XL with the NFL shield, the bangles, and the nine, which again is heat applied, just like most of, you know, your basic normal Nike game jersey has the striping on the shoulder with the Nike swoosh, burrow heat pressed on a sewn nameplate with the nine also heat and uh yeah so yeah like i say nothing fancy here just your normal cincinnati Bengals, joe burrow nike game jersey and also this particular seller too had obviously the black jersey he also had the orange jersey and the white jersey but i decided to get the black jersey because at least with this particular style of Bengals jersey I feel like the it the color scheme pops better on the black jersey. But uh yeah, I mean he even had the uh orange and road white version of this jersey. And again, they're as cheap as like I think I even saw some of his ones after I purchased this as cheap as like 30, 35 bucks for basically a brand new Nike game jersey of well one of the best quarterbacks in the league when he's healthy but again it's a bad thing about joe burrow he's had some injury issues i mean case in point his rookie year he tore his acl if i remember right and was basically sidelined for most of the year comes back the next year and takes the Bengals on a magical run to the super bowl including taking down the chiefs in arrowhead on his way to, well, eventually losing to the L.A. Rams due to, you know, <laughs> Eli Apple being, well, Eli Apple, and just totally letting, if I remember right, Cooper Cup in the end zone basically catch a wide-open pass. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like I say, that was a very successful year. Came back next year, had a pretty good season themselves, including, again, beating the Chiefs in Arrowhead. Yeah, there was a time there where the Bengals and the Chiefs, 
you know, have really met in a lot of high pressure situations in the AFC, whether it be the playoffs, whether it be an arrowhead or places like that. But, uh, yeah, including the back and forth banter between the Bengals and the chiefs. And honestly, this is, that's actually been a fun little rivalry. And then of course, fast forward to 2023, Joe Burrow gets hurt basically right before training camp and is out for like pretty much all of training camp and then comes back week one or two or like kind of early on in the year knocks a little bit of the rust off you know took a few weeks for the Bengals to really get up and going and then they finally get up and going start you know moving forward and then bam Joe Burrow breaks his hand against Baltimore on I believe it was a Sunday night game no Thursday night it was a Thursday night game where he broke his hand and was out for the rest of the year. In walks former Vikings practice squad player Jake Browning. And, you know, they try to stay afloat as much as they could. But the AFC North this year has been a very, very competitive division. So if Burrow can get back, you know, with like the Browns being pretty good, the Steelers somehow managing to stay within it as well. And, of course, you know, the Bengals... And the Ravens, I mean, you know, just, it's a really, really tough division overall. So, but yeah, like I say, hopefully Burrow can come back next year ready to go with guys like T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Joe Mixon, a very, very solid defense. And, uh, yeah, like I say, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And plus, too, it updates my Bengals jersey collection because while I have two Bengals jerseys, they're of Peter Wark in the uh, Reebok helmet tag and Corey Dillon in the helmet tag. Both ironically enough, home and road jerseys, which are kind of stuck in there, so I don't even have the last generation, but... Yeah, the Bengals have also had some of my favorite uniforms in the entire league. So yeah, that'll basically wrap up this video. So until we meet again... This is Jacob. Have a good day.